Hello everyone, I'd be showing you how to change the belt on a vacuum. This is just a general upright vacuum where the brush roll is connected with the belt to the main motor. I'll take the bin off and then flip your machine over like it is. The things you're going to need are drill or screwdriver and some replacement belts. Whatever your model number is, search that and you will be able to find um, what belts your machine takes. This particular machine takes a Style 80 from Hoover. So before we go into putting the belt on, take a second, go down in the video description, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and turn on that notification so you will not miss any future videos. So let's get started. There will be screws down on the bottom here. You want to take those off. Or should you want more? That would be. this one. Now your bottom of your machine is off. So grab your brush roll just like this. Two hands. Remove. Slide it off. There will be a motor shaft right down here. You can see it's that piece of metal. Right here. Take the belt. Move it to the side. Like this. Spin it upside down. Different vacuums, the belts will come off differently. Now we have that old belt off. Now we're just going to wipe down this clear part right here. It gets dirty, so if I ever am doing this, I prefer to clean it. Okay, now that that has been wiped clean, we're going to take, this is our old belt right here, we're going to take this new belt, this is a genuine Hoover part, and we're going to put it back right here. We're going to put this sideways, just like so. It can be a little bit tricky, but there it is. Now that your belt is on. Zoom out. What you want to do is you want to take the brush roll and find the spot, the gap where there's no brushes. You can see that's right here. I'm going to grab the brush bar, just like that. Grab onto it. Give it a manual spin. Make sure that the brush roll spins by hand. Spin it multiple times, just like that. Once it's set in place, pop your bottom plate back on. And then put the screws back in place. If you're using a drill, set it to a low uh, torque setting so you don't accidentally strip something.
and your mission is done. Now your machine is ready to use again. Discard your belt, or this one I put the wrong one on by accident. That's why I took that one off. But if it's worn, broken, stretched, what you need to do is compare the size of the old one to the new one by putting them next to each other. If it's stretched by probably an inch, then dispose and put on a new belt. So, I hope you enjoyed that quick, easy tutorial. I'll see you in the next one.